It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. And it's time to celebrate. Vlogmas. Yay! Good morning, everyone. So this morning, Bailey made breakfast for the boys, and Jacob isn't awake yet. But I thought that was really sweet of her. She just woke up and like started doing that on her own. She made veggie sausage and grilled cheese, and it was nice because it gave me the chance to get Lukey asleep on me. Little sleepy bean. So today is December seventh, and I finally updated my calendar. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but we have this big calendar right here, and I like to have. So we have the month here, then I have like good behavior things, and then the kids have goals of their own, and then here they are superstars, and this just started this morning, and Jacob isn't awake yet. Usually, usually Jacob has like stars all the way to here, but he hasn't woken up yet, so we'll see where he gets. I have two stars, so that means I might be able to stay up at night time and, or watch a movie. Yeah, pretty exciting. How did you earn your two stars? Um, I did the dishwasher, and then I cleaned my room. Ooh, good boy. I didn't do the bed stove. Oh, well, go make your bed. <laughs> Christopher's been up editing all morning, so that's what he's up to. And Duncan, what about you, mister? What about you? Good morning, Mama. Good morning, sweetie. I love you so much. So the plan today is to go to Target and do some shopping because one of my really good friends is having a birthday today and then Flynn is having a birthday tomorrow. Okay, so this is the best and wildest day ever because I get a shopping trip with just me and my little angel girl. <laughs> so we are here in Target, middle of December, so it's wild, it is packed in here. Almost all the carts were gone. Getting a parking spot was near impossible. It is Christmas time. <laughs> you like that one? I know him. But Bailey, let's not get distracted now because we are on a mission today, right? Yeah. So we are going shopping, not for Christmas, but for birthdays. We're going to my friend's birthday party tonight and she's turning 40. Don't tell her I told you on the vlog or anything. I don't know if that's a secret. Also, I'm 36. My friends are older than I am. <laughs> not that that matters. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Lynn's birthday party tomorrow. So we need to get something for a one-year-old, Bailey. You got any ideas? No. Cool. <laughs> and we're out. So my friend is a feminist historian type person. So we're gonna try to find the perfect gift for someone who really likes history to be represented accurately. She also really likes Outlander and she likes face masks, so. <laughs> so I have this brilliant pair of cozy pants that I bought when I was pregnant. Now I wear them just every day and I'm trying to see if I can find them here because Cozy pants are a great gift, right? Hi, right, Bailey? Is that cozy? I found them in the little girls section. But I'm trying to find them in the the 40-year-old women's section. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did got you some gifts. You did? Yeah, they're the pants I got you last week. You did? Yeah, I like them. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, can you go get the cart? I left it with my wallet and my keys and all my other like valuables. Oops. Well done, Bailey. Kind of matches your outfit. Fashion. You look cute. Looks nice with your red hair. This is what we're looking for. Right there. But those are the little girl ones. And mine are black. Which I like. I'll sell it for anything because, you know, cozy. Plus they have a pocket. Pockets are so important. Jojo! That's a Jojo dress! Isn't that amazing? That looks like an Annie dress. It does. It, it's awesome, isn't it? Jojo clothes. Jojo section. Jojo jacket. This section here is your section. Oh, cool. I got you a dress from here the other day. This dress is so pretty. I love oh, this dress. Oh yes, I love that dress. Oh my goodness, I think I spy them. I found them, I found them, I found them. Yes, cozy. This is it right here. This is what we want. 
I'm so excited. These are the best pants. I hope they have the size we need. These are so soft. I know, these are, you have these. Yeah, I know, they're so soft. <laughs> feel the inside first and then feel the outside. Ooh. The outside. That's amazing. That feels great. We should get matching. <laughs> okay, so the secret to being a preteen and getting anything you want is just telling your mom that you want to get matching that thing and no mom can say no to that. So we're gonna get matching right Small now. Size Wanna get matching? Yes. All right, let's do this. Yes. <laughs> These pants are like the softest. Pants twins. What are you doing? Being so cute with you, best friends. Pants twins. <laughs> do they have pockets? Yes. Yes. <laughs> The, the worst moment is bringing pants home yep. and then realizing they They're don't have the pockets. Big, the biggest pocket. Yes, we love a big pocket. See. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they are so silky and soft. These are some quality pants, Bailey. Oh my gosh, feel even these. Feel the inside. I know, the inside's softer than the outside. That's rare. That's very rare. <laughs> so we've succeeded in locating the coziest clothes in the world for my friend, which is excellent news, and I, I do think I want to get something else for her, but I want to move on to Flynn to make sure at least we get him covered and we're kind of in that section. And then we'll go back and try to get like a bonus thing for my buddy. You see anything, Bailey? Um, I think they're all mostly for um, two-year-olds. Yeah, so one-year-olds are tricky. They're not really like too interested in things yet. Like usually one and a half is where that really emerges, but you know what they like? What? They like to eat. So let's go get him like a cool sippy cup, okay? I feel like this is especially tricky because Colleen doesn't really like noise toys either and I feel like a one-year-old would be interested in something that's like noisy and flashy, but I don't think Colleen really wants that in her house. I don't think, I mean, it could be wrong. I feel like buying a present for a one-year-old is kind of better if you just give it and buy presents more for the parents, like practical stuff. I don't know, there isn't gonna be that much that he's like really interested in that he doesn't already have because he already has like baby toys and he's got a lot of books, which is something I would lean towards, but I think he has a good, a good library. <laughs> um, and I think he's got a lot of blankets, so I don't know. I'm definitely gonna get him some cool sippy cups but I can't think of anything else, so I'm just gonna walk around and see if I get inspired. Okay, I just had an idea. Um, since it is December, and it's gonna be winter, and that's the time when one-year-olds kind of get sick a lot, especially if they're hanging out with a bunch of other kids like our kids, I was thinking, why don't I get them like a sickness wellness kit and just get Colleen and Eric some things to have on hand in case he gets sick during the winter season. I love practical, I like going practical, so I'm kind of leaning towards that and then we'll get him some sippy cups and if we find a toy or something, we'll get a toy too, but I don't know. Let's get some of this, this, and that. What's this? This is a thing. I don't even know. Ooh, yes, we love a Frida baby. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get them like a cute bag to put all that in. I really like to have like easy kits that I can grab to deal with any situation with my parenting. Also, I've gotta find my child. Where'd she go? Did you find anything? I found something, yes. <laughs> that was kind of ominous. What's going on? Oh, nice. That's cute. I don't know, do they need that? Do they have something like that already? I don't think so. Oh, look at that, a whole thermometer in there. This one's kinda, this one's kinda dirty. We're not gonna give them the dirty one. So I found this really cute wet bag that'll fit everything. And also, it could be used as a wet bag for like yucky things that they need to throw in there. Like, I don't know, if he vomits or has something gastrointestinal or something problematic, you can toss that in there and they're good to go with that. So, multi-use, love it. And they have Pedialyte. I cannot tell you how many times we've had to do like the emergency Pedialyte run. So I'll get this for them so they can have it in, on hand in case they need that. And then also, I love these like Pedialyte freezer pops. You can make your own too, but when the kids aren't feeling well and we can make them like a popsicle, they typically love these because it's like they're able to eat something and when they're nauseous and vomiting, we have to keep food away from them for a while and that's a really good transition back into eating and they really appreciate it usually and you can make your own but we're gonna buy them for Colleen and Eric today so they can just have them on hand. What? I want to get this for fun with my mom. Okay that's so sweet he'll love that. These are my favorite style of sippy cup. I know he already has a bunch already but when they're one 
they tend to get lost a lot faster because they're walking around with them. You just like always need another sippy cup or another sippy cup lid or another sippy cup insert bit. So that's what they're gonna get. Okay, we did it. I think we have Flynn all covered, probably like more than enough covered, but let's look for one more present for my friend. I think I found something that I wanna get for Mark. Oh, you did? Okay. Ailey's doing a little Christmas shopping of her own. I don't know what she's getting. I'm not gonna show it though, just in case he sees this video. I found something for Parker. Oh my goodness, she did. It's really good. I think it's a perfect gift. Um, I don't think he knows that it even exists, does he? I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, he's gonna love it. It's kind of like made for Parker, I think. Mm -hmm. I think they made it because of Parker. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you at Christmas morning. Okay, so here's a sign of getting older. You no longer shop for your friends in the toy aisle, <laughs> but you go straight for the pharmacy aisle. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I just had a little moment where I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the pharmacy area for her, and she's gonna just love what I find there. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, <laughs> that's really interesting for me. <laughs> I love lavender Epsom salts. Like I love any Epsom salts, but then when I throw in the lavender, yes, okay. My friend also really loves being clean. Like she's really into being clean. I think everyone's into being clean at least a little bit. Yeah, but she's into being clean like a lot. Like the most into being clean. So now she can clean herself in a even more fun way. Oh, yes. What? Okay, we did it. We like we did all the things. Should we get wrapping paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be smart. And then, do you want to go to Starbucks and get a special drink for a special yes. girl date, our lady time? I'm gonna get a hot chocolate. What do you want? I don't know. What can I have? Um, do you want a little hot chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't there like an egg milk hot chocolate now? I don't know. I thought that was like you used to have that. Or was it steamed eggnog? I have no idea. We, should, we could ask. You want eggnog? Eggnog hot chocolate. I don't think eggnog hot chocolate is a thing. I mean, maybe I eggnog, like it. warm eggnog maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll have to look into that. I think it's a little too big, but how could we not get this for him? Perfect. Okay, Bailey got the eggnog cream. How is it? Good. And I get a dairy-free hot chocolate here by substituting the dairy with coconut milk. So, it's really good. Oh, we, we're a ladies' table with a visitor. Hi, buddy. Who could it be? Oh, hello. And here's birthday girl. Oh, look at her, she's so lovely. Cool dudes table over here, look at these guys. Jacob, look back and smile, like, like cool kid you are. That's a great smile. We got these kids down here. So it's kind of funny because we just naturally separated into the girls table and the, and the dad's table, mom's table. And I actually, Nicole, I introduced you today by saying you're my feminist friend. Yeah, and here we are at the old ladies table. And then we've got the cool cool young dudes table over here. And the wee tots. And Christopher. Christopher goes on his own. Happy birthday to you. Did you wake up? You woke up on the drive home? 
Was that fun sleeping on Miss Crystal? Are you ready to do Advent? Can I go last? You want to go last tonight? You don't want to go first? Yes. Yes, you do want to go first or yes, you want to go last? I'll go first. Can you please go first? Yes, you may. Today we are opening number seven. Donald Duck! <laughs> <laughs> you think it's going to be Donald Duck? We'll find out. You got this. I can't do it. No, you got this. You got it. Use your thumb. Use You've your done thumb. most of it. You've done the hardest part already. Yeah, use that thumb. Yeah. So get your finger you all the way down. Just pull. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, what'd you get? A present. <gasps> Ooh, is keep it a going, present? Oh, guess who that one's for, though? Donald! It's for Donald! It's a present for Donald! He hasn't arrived yet, but he's got a present waiting for him. I wonder if that means he's definitely going to show up at some point. Oh, uh, no, he's not in there. <laughs> it's an empty box. Are you excited about all these empty boxes you're getting? Oh, yeah, there's a picture of Donald right there. What do you Jacob think loves guessing. Apricot. Apricot? I feel like I'm going to keep having to guess apricot until it actually apricot. shows. Because the one time I don't guess apricot, it's going to be apricot. Apricot and grape. Have we had blueberry yet? No. no. Mm. Blueberry. Blackberry. Blackberry? I'm going to go with persimmon. Does that mean there's a persimmon mm -hmm. on my picture? No, I'm just going with You're it. You're not even guessing ginger or gingerbread? You actually Too have... easy. Okay, this is seven, right? Am I doing this right? Yeah. Okay. It's probably going to be cinnamon. Cinnamon ginger jam. What is it? Purple fig cinnamon spread. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that. Fig cool. and cinnamon? It's going to be like a Fig Newton. Yeah, it's going to be delicious is what it's going to be. All right, you'll like it, Bailey. You love fig, huh? I like Fig Newton. And as always, Jessica will be eating this on tomorrow's Twitch live stream. Whose turn is it? Daddy. Okay, what am I going to open? Oh, no. It's going to be Cholula. You think it's going to be Cholula? <laughs> You're good at saying that, Duncan. Do you think we should name this vlog Duncan Says Cholula? I love vlog. What? I say Cholula on the vlog. You did say Cholula on the vlog. Should we name the vlog? Baby says Cholula? Nah. Yeah, what been about, there, done that. What about Toddler says Cholula? Yes. <laughs> it's an excellent title. It is hot sauce time. Number seven. Wow! You guys Cholula? are going to flip out. Is it Cholula? No, but it is clear. What is happening here? Is it vodka? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Is it empty? North Pole original... Krampus blend hot sauce. A secret sauce obtained from the Krampus in the mountains of Central Europe. This sauce packs a punch and adds an aromatic flavor to many different dishes. What is this strange elixir? All right, let's give it a little whip. That's a way to prank someone. Does it smell like water? It smells like a wet rag. <laughs> like a old so, water. <laughs> I would try. I Am I smelling this right? What is happening here? Can <laughs> we all smell it? Can you smell it? No, can we all smell it? Yeah, we're all going to smell it, but you got to smell it first and tell me what you think. Good. You like it? That's the first hot sauce you've liked. What is up with that? <laughs> it's the weirdest. I feel like it's there, but like... Barely. What is going on? I mean, that is a raging Santa Claus. I know. Look at the look at the Santa Claus on this bottle. That's ominous. Is a Krampus. Can I creepy Santa? Uh, it's creepy Santa when he gets angry. And that's a wet rag. Hi, wet rag. Oh, gotcha. Who thinks he's sad? It smells something, but it's like not there. It smells like vinegar. It smells like. Wet rag. Hot sauce, but very far away. <laughs> it's the echo of a hot yeah. sauce. Everyone's it's gonna a burp. try. It's a burp. It's a burp. 
It's just soaking up in the in I the cracker. Time for a soggy cracker. <coughs> Did they forget to put ingredients in it? Maybe. <laughs> it's nothing. It's water. I'm gonna put that in my soup. Wait. Where is it? Duncan's ready for it. Anything? Not really. It's vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah. Can I try? Yeah, I'll I'll let you try it. Spicy. Spicy? Do you like it? Yeah. You guys all hyped it as just water, and now Duncan's like over here turning all kinds of different colors of red. Should mommy try it? Definitely spicy. What? What? But I really love it. It's really oh, soaked. Okay. Just it just has a I little just... touch, but it does. But have... it's nice. Mm -hmm. Billy's turn. Cedric. Cedric. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Cedric. The yeah. one time you don't. The one time. Mommy, you it's gonna be. You Dobby. don't guess. You think it's gonna be Dobby? Yeah, I was gonna say Cedric or Dobby, and then. Cedric or Dobby. Good guess, Duncan. Oh. Weird. Serious. Uh, what's the headmaster of um, Durmstrang? I don't know. Like. So we don't know who this is. It's Karkov. I don't know his last name, but yeah. It's back I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's I think. Oh. I think. Look at nice jacket. Let's Cheer. keep her warm. Strawberry. Oh, well, a strawberry. belt. A belt. Jacob's turn. Yeah! Gonna go build this. It's a secret. We're opening door seven today. Yep. What do you guys guess it is? A table. I, I guess it's a table. Maybe some food? Like a drumstick? A table with some food. It's a fireplace. Sounds like a lot of pieces. Yeah, is this a big one? You shall see. <gasps> oh, a that table. table. Mm -hmm. A banquet <laughs> table. Nope. Oh. I just realized that was day seven. Yeah. Oh, cool. Which means we're like really close to Christmas. Wait, what? Think about it. 18, 18 more days. days and I haven't gotten presents. Uh, no. Day after. Sure. Mm, maybe the next day after that. Okay, two days. Yeah, Tuesday. We can do it Tuesday. Okay. I've already only gotten one Christmas present, but I can shop on Amazon pretty fast. Oh gosh, me. Ooh, oh, <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> Bye.